Hey everyone, Shelby again. Came back just like I promised to show you how to do my Alice Cullen hair. Um, I just recently posted a video on how to do my emo theme hair, which I don't wear very often. Um, I tend to stick with my Alice Cullen sort of thing. It wasn't purposeful to cut my hair off, but you know what happens, so it's cool. First of all, as you know, you're going to have to have the right cut, and I just was lucky enough to, going into a salon blindly, come out with the cut that would give me this hairstyle. Um, as you can see, my hair is pretty short, and it's really layered, like all the way up to the top. So I'm going to need that, or flip it up. Anyway, so I already have blow-dried my hair, and I already straightened it with my Chi straightener, ceramic. Um, so I lay down flat. And uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mystery um, super hold mousse, which I use whenever I do my hair, regardless of the style that I use. Um, and I'm just going to put this through here so that when I straighten it, it'll hold easier. Now, when you put it in, you don't want to fluff your hair up all that much because it'll stay that way. You want to get it to lie pretty flat, but you just want to get some mousse in there so that when you start shaping it, it'll hold. Maybe a little bit more. I go through like a bottle of mousse and a can of hairspray a week, so... Brush this through. Can rinse off my hands, so they're all sticky. Alright, now I'm going to get out my straightener. And what I do is instead of separating it into layers, because that would just take way too long and too much of a hassle, I just tend to do it in three parts, being right side, back, left side, but since my left side is facing the camera, I will start with the left. I'm going to spray some of my um, heat protection styling spray, which is makes it so the, um, so, because my hair is naturally regular, it just makes it so that my hair will naturally hold shape and clean in. Now what I'm doing is I pick up a little bit of hair with my brush, and I straighten through it, putting it in an upward flip direction. So you know, Alice's hair is flippy. And I start at the top, work my way down. Now be careful of the bangs. You don't want the bangs being flipped, so I tend to stop about right here, where my temple is. I'm just going to keep doing this. I'm sorry I can't fast forward, uh, fast forward through this, but I don't have any of those fancy video editing software on my computer. I just shoot and upload. Hopefully, whenever I film anything, it only has to take one take. Anyway, so as you see, it's not perfect what I'm doing right now. That's okay because I'm going to go back later after I put some more uh, product in it. And now, I'm moving on to the back. Make sure you get the bottoms too, because if your hair is like mine, the um, the bottoms will kind of lay down flat. Alright. It's going to take some practice for you to be able to get the back of your head this way. My fiance is texting me, but you know what? He can wait. I know my last video saved my really. I know my last video I saved my boyfriend, but um he's back to my fiance. We've been engaged for about three months. Known him for about four years. We dated on and off. Got back together at the end of the summer, September second to be exact. And he proposed to me. So yeah. Alright, so I'm not going to worry too much about the back of my hair right now. Because, you know, I'm just trying to get this video out there. I'm just going to make sure it gets the shape I want it to be in. Now, um, see this? It, this helps a lot if you have this mirror right here. Um, or another mirror just in case, because as you see, you can like...
the back sides of your hair. And you go over here, you see this side. Well, you, you could if my camera wasn't in the way. But those help a lot, just having lots of mirrors around. Now we do the right side. I'm just rushing through this. Normally it takes me about 15-20 minutes to style all together, but for the purposes that I'm sure you don't want to be sitting around at your computer or on your iPhone, whatever you're watching this video on, for a long period of time, and also the fact that uh, YouTube doesn't let me upload videos more than one gigabyte, which is about 12 minutes for me, I'm just rushing through so that viewers can get the general idea. Alright, that's enough shaking for now. I know it's still messy, but now what I'm going to do is get a bunch more of my mousse. I know they'll say, like, use, like, a quarter size. I use a lot of mousse. Because my hair is very thin. Don't say it. Anyway, so what I'm doing is let's get all of the palms of my hands. I just kind of ruffle it up and down on the sides. I'm not putting it all the way through to from the top because the only real purpose of this like mousse in for is to make sure that these little spikes right here, just to make sure they hold their shape of sticking upwards. It'll make your hair really stiff. And uh, yeah, just make sure it holds its shape. Right. So more I got pretty much the top, now I get some on the bottom. Again, cut stuff gets really sticky and irritating. As you can see, it's all over my straightener. This is all like mousse and product that like burnt onto my straightener. I'll clean it off someday, but I'm too lazy. Turn the music a little bit. Alright. So, my hair is having shape more. Now I'm going to go back with my straightener. And it gets more. And now you see since I have more mousse in here, it's holding its shape a lot, but in an ugly way. I'll fix that. This is just to, uh, so that it'll stay in its upward direction. I'll separate it more out later. It's gonna look like some crazy anime character that no one likes. Like, but anyway, just go around your head and get all those pieces, all the layers. I think that's good. Alright, so now let that sit there for a minute, then go through with your brush. Don't brush really hard down towards your head, just kind of fluff your hair just to get it separated. And now I'm getting my shape that I want. I'm going to go underneath now fluff up a bit. Alright. Some more of my mousse. I will use hairspray too, but mainly a lot of what I use is this. And do that little fluffing part again. And now my shape is really taking shape. Tee hee. And just a tip, you don't want this hairstyle to have a wide face because it'll make your head wider. Because this is adding on several inches onto my head. My, my face is kind of wide, but it's kind of long. As you see, it's longer than it is wide. So if you have a round face, and like, not even just pudgy. I mean, I'm pudgy. And, um, I can still pull off this look just fine. Now, I'm going to take my, um, Hairspray to roll spray, same brand as my um, mousse. Comes at seven dollars at Target, which is great. It's cheap, but it holds. 